Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to the season 2 premiere of House of the Dragon. So if you are new here, I just wanted to let you know that I know pretty much nothing about the source material. Um, and I also don't watch trailers for the new seasons that come out for any show that I watch. Um, I have found that sometimes trailers can spoil things that would be really good reactions in the episode reactions that I put out, so um, I try to avoid that. Uh, so if something was revealed in a trailer for this season and I seem to be shocked by it, that would be why. Um, and uh, the only thing that I've seen about this season coming up, I mean, I feel like we're gearing up for war. Uh, just based on how the first season ended. But the only thing I've really seen about this season is kind of the promotional photos and stuff um, kind of floating around for Team Black or Team Green. And as you can see, I'm wearing both today. <laughs> and that shouldn't surprise you if you saw my season one reactions. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get into it. Let's go. Duty is sacrifice. It eclipses all things, even blood. All men of honor must pay its price. The North owes a great duty to the Seven Kingdoms, one older than any oath. One in ten men from our household was to be chosen to fortify the watch. Winter is coming. Coming? What is this then that falls from the skies and shivers my bones? This is only a late summer snow, my prince. It pleases me to think that over a century ago our ancestors treated in this very place. The conqueror and the king in the north. You at least had the mercy not to threaten me with your dragon. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I need my men here. Whilst your men guard against wildlings and weather, the high towers plan to usurp the throne. She needs an army. War is coming. To the whole of the realm, my lord. It's not just we wild lanes and weather. His grace stood at this very outlook and watched as their dragons, the greatest power in the world, refused to cross it. Do you think my ancestors built a 700 foot wall of ice to keep out snow and savages? What does it keep out? Death. If your greybeards can fight, the Queen will have them. They will fight hard, like northerners. Oh. 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 That's how he finds out about his brother. Oh, my goodness. We're going to King's Landing. To what end? Killing Vega. I cannot face oh. the Oriel pitch alone. With my dragon and yours together, we can kill Vagar and her rider. Make it a son for a son. I should be at Harrenor, bending knees, but I must instead remain here to wage her war. Or perhaps more simply, to await her return. She's been gone for days. Too long, she is exposed. She is grieving. The mother grieves as the queen shirks her duties. Woo! It was... A raven that brought me news of Lena's death. I existed for weeks in torment, refusing to believe what I'd been told. It was only when I saw my daughter's mortal remains that I could begin to mourn her. A raven has told Rhaenyra that her son is dead. She needs to know it for certain. What if Aemon were to happen to Connor? Then I would pity Aemon. Hmm. <laughs> The Queen was wise to accuse herself. She has not acted on the vengeful impulse that others might have. Oh. If you'd have acted when you had the chance, Aegon's line would be extinguished. And Luke would be alive. Oh. Wow. Okay. 
Fly with me. It is a command. Would that you were the king. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a sass going back and forth in that scene. That tensions are high. I must have my ship back at sea to lead the effort. It will be many weeks yet. I'm going to The smithy delivered this earlier. I had this commission for Prince Wissaris. I was very sorry to hear about your heir's death. Much to do. They tell me that you are the one that dragged my body out of the sea. It's only my duty. I am indebted to you, Alan. Tried to shoot the wrong dragon. Oh, hi, sweetie. I'm afraid. Oh. Don't be. They'd be fools to come with Vega protecting the city. Not the dragons. The rats. The queen is an enduring mystery. Is she not? Well, sure, but also, I feel like she might be in tune with some stuff. Trying to give some warnings, sort of. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, There's boy. There's a tree, yeah. We cannot. Again. Okay. Oh. I was going to say, yeah, you sure. just did. <laughs> Stormlands should be ours after Prince Aemon's marriage pact to the Lady Floris Baratheon. Would someone please... Is the heir to the throne bothering you, Tyland? No. <gasps> oh. No, 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 not in the least, Your Grace. Wouldn't that be fun, Jaehaerys? Should the Master of Coin be your royal steed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are important matters to discuss. <sighs> Despite Sir Tyland's interruptions. No time for amusements, Tyland. I feel like we need Tywin Lannister to pop in and well, tell the king hands. he's tired. Good <laughs> oh boy. Well, we should have just killed her when we had the chance. Regrettably, the opportunity for surprise has been lost. And with it, the chance to end this conflict quickly. We must play the board before us. If we are to break the Sea Snakes blockade, we will need to bolster both the Lannister and High Tower navies. We do have need for a new master of ships. We could offer the title to the young Lord Dalton Greyjoy. Aemon, what is your business here? The King summoned me. You do not have a seat at this council. We must establish a toehold there. But how are The River Lords will either declare for me, or they will meet Vhagar and Sunfire together. Rhaenyra has dragons as well. Mine are bigger. If we loose the dragons to war, there'll be no calling them back. We must proceed cautiously. No. Fat old Lord Tully will either raise my banner or see his burn. And Vagar is needed here to deter Rhaenyra from attacking, in retribution for the death of her son. Woo. Errors were made Woo. in the hours for... I come earlier to have a word before the small council convened, but your handmaiden said that you were indisposed. What is it you wish to discuss? <laughs> He's like, were you showing your feet to somebody else? They produced rather interesting details, but I am satisfied I have exposed all who betrayed our trust. And what of them? They no longer breathe our air. I've chosen your new staff personally. Shocking. Dragon! <laughs>
Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Hail King Aegon! The Magnanimous. Good morrow, uh, Your Grace. It's all right. There's no reason to be nervous. What's your name? Gr uh, Gerard, Your Grace. Good morrow, Gerard. Tis my flock. A, a, a tenth of them taken by the crown on, on the cusp of winter. If I had had the time to plan, we should perhaps. return them. Your Grace? You need your goats for the winter, don't you? Sheep, you, Your Grace. Oh. Sheep for the winter. <laughs> I shall make your He's flock of sheep whole. <laughs> We already made a promise to all the crown lands that a tithing of livestock would be necessary to sustain the dragons for their increased activity and, pray not, eventual fighting. Right. Perhaps we could just return his sheep he came all this way. If you return one herd of sheep, Your Grace, you'll soon find them all at the foot of your throne expecting the same. When the king speaks, Your Grace, all hear it. Yeah. Hmm. If we could but have the crown's coin before we started work, it would bring great relief. Not just to me, but to all the smiths serving your cause. You shall be paid, and paid well. My army cannot win a war without your weapons. You should continue their making. Our victory depends on the efforts of the small folk. You have my most sincere gratitude, Your Grace. I mean, that is true. They need weapons if they're going to war. To the I wonder, do you have a moment for quiet work? Oh, no. I don't need these two chatting. <laughs> Keep a firm grip on things. <laughs> you controlled your father the same way. Sarah's had a certain reputation as being pliable. I am aware. I would think, as we find ourselves standing within a hair's breadth of war, that you would wish to be viewed differently. How? Otto Hightower was your father's hand, your grace. An ally would not repeatedly cut my legs from beneath me at that table of men. I sit there and I feel your anger. Frustration. These critical days since Viserys is passing haven't gone to plan. That's not my fault. Well, sure. Aemon erred, but he is fiercely loyal. He wishes to please. And Aegon still heeds me, in private at least. But if you undermine my voice, both those boys will grow deaf to it. I hadn't seen it that way. We only need to mind Aegon until the novelty of rule is spent. Once he tires of it, you and I can steer our cause to victory. A fine strategy, daughter. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. I know it. It sure is. But that does not mean it must be wanton. No. Last we met, there were two of you. You put Aegon on the throne. That was the High Tower's conspiracy. I merely profited from knowing Aegon's movements. But you delivered him. He would have returned home eventually for gold and for respite, as he always does. I simply, simply split the business on off. Business that ended with the theft of the Queen's throne and the murder of her son. You only blame me because your true enemies are out of reach. My arrangement with the Hand was purely transactional. I held no loyalty to him. Have her moved to the cells. She is to be treated as a traitor to the Crown. She was no agent of Hightower's. What is it to you? A matter of honor. Was it honor that made you stand by and watch as the Hightower's usurped the throne? You and your traitorous twin. No, I have Prince. Egon was in your grasp. You should have killed him yourself. I reckon I were names of the King's Guard are just eight and ten. And we swore the same off to defend the whole of the royal family. 
So what were we to do when they turned against one another? Stands at the ready, Your Grace. Now she's getting ready. Your Grace, my Lord Husband's blockade of the gullet moves into place. All seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing will soon be cut off. I want Aemond Targaryen. Damon's down. I mean, he's like, say love. In your years as merchant of gossip, you surely accumulated spies within the Red Keep, servants who knew the comings and goings. Scheme with someone else, Damon. I was once in your thrall, but no longer. Your knowledge in exchange for your freedom. Your Grace. Lady Jane Aaron has pledged her support in exchange for a dragon to guard the veil. And Lord Quicken Stark has promised 2,000 men. Oh no. Damon's got a hood on. You know he's up to some shit. The white worm said you're one of Aegon's rat catchers. You must be busy. That castle positively crawls with them now. I heard the white worm were dead. Her ghost told me you're a betting man. Fighting pits. Dogs. And bones. I was also given to understand that you possess a unique knowledge of the Red Keep. My ghost tunnels. Type of rat's nest it is. This is my friend. Tonight he's going Lena to be your friend. Lena was worried about the rats. Who okay. to find and slay the Prince Aemon Targaryen. He has silver hair and one eye. Should be easy enough to find. But I understand it's not good enough. Might not be as easy to kill, but, you know. It's one half. Davicent is simply angry. Angry. She blames me for starting this war. After she plotted with my father's counsel to usurp his throne. She has a gentle heart. And Rhaenyra is a cunning spider. Long ago she drew Alison into her web. It is not your mother's fault. She holds love for our enemy. Or they've been lifelong friends. That makes her a fool. Which has gone to shit. Lord Hand. Return to your post, Lord Commander. I must have a word with the Prince. It would concern me, grandson, if plans were being considered beyond the ears of your king and his hand. You've a zeal to act, I understand. I was young once myself. I only wish to serve my king and my house. I promise you, Aemon, you will have all the vengeance that you seek, but you must keep a grip on your impulses. 
we both know that your brother cannot. Oh, well, I mean, that's a point. Oh, why are we bringing a dog into this? Why are we bringing a dog into this? I understand that I think we saw the dog before, but, you know, like right now we don't know. <laughs> Bring the dog. D no! <laughs> you guys know how I feel about dogs being brought into nefarious situations. Remind me like some helpless duckling. Oh, wait, you're the king. Who gives a shit what they say? My brother at least knows his place. He's as loyal as a hound. I can set him and his dragon on my foes at will. Keep your eyes down. Dragon hearts, that's it. They <laughs> call the dragon cock. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the just waltzing in. I got you in the castle. I thought the rest was your bed. <laughs> I could end you right here. I'm no way upstairs. I just don't know my way around. No. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Was that fucking necessary? This way. Well, at least now maybe the dog is out of it. I do appreciate, but fuck you. Fuck you. For the rats. No, 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 no. She's the queen, she is. A son for a son, he said. Over there. We need to get our head and get out. <laughs> they both look the same. Which one's a boy? Might be that one. The mother knows. Do anything but what I ask, and I'll bleed the whole lot of you. Um. Which? I have a necklace. That's not a son. Oh, love. Fuck. Fuck. the other one. She's not going to give up the king's hair that easy. No. She's telling true. Hold him down. Oh. 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 <gasps> Oh, I don't need that noise. Oh, please. I really was not Elena. prepared for that. Oh, boy. What's happened? They killed the boy. Holy fuck. Really? Uh, okay. Wow. Okay, well, I am stunned by that ending. I did have a feeling that there was going to be some retaliation and possibly within this first episode. I, I, I was curious if it was going to, you know, just be a lot of build up, which I have to say. Um, I think this episode did a very, very good job 
of just showing how the tensions are just skyrocketing after everything that happened at the end of season one and everybody's just preparing for war and not just war but like a nasty war and it's really really interesting to see you know like the the council uh with the the high towers and everything um over in team green and it's very much this energy of like what happened happened so now we have to fucking deal with that and um i'm very interested to dive more into just all of the inner workings over there because my goodness there's a lot going on over at team green right now i it, it's interesting uh, the one thing that i would have loved to have seen truly is Amond returning and telling the you know uh, various people what happened and how does he tell that story you know i think it's very very possible and just given some of the dialogue uh, surrounding it in this episode. I might have to rewatch it to really um, see. But it's possible he, you know, just completely leaned into it, which I think I talked about. I have no idea if I talked about that at the end of season one. I don't know what I'm saying. That was a long time ago, okay? But um, it's possible I mentioned it at the end of season one because I remember having that sort of curiosity of like, do you just, I mean, you, you basically started the war, right? Intentional or not, you know, I think his intent was to uh, taunt and terrify and then it went too far, right? So what, how do you, how do you tell that story after? Do you say, I did it and this is, and I meant to do it? You know, it, I, I feel like that might be how it was portrayed when he got back home. Maybe. Um, again, I will have to rewatch and sort of uh, see exactly what's said. Um, kind of, sometimes you pick up on those things a little bit more on, on a rewatch. But that was the, the vibe I got. So I wonder what you guys think. But genuinely... Um, I, I was so curious and I really wanted to see how he, you know, kind of talked about it after the fact. Um, cause I think maybe he would want to show strength in that moment and, you know, just the way that they kind of talk about the, him being impulsive and, and, and the anger, um, from Alicent. And I'm very curious to see the dynamic between Amond and, and Allison going forward. And I think that's going to be really interesting. There's a lot of, I feel like, dynamics within Team Green that is going to be fascinating to watch going forward. And um, I did find the scene between um, Otto and Allison really interesting. Um, I really like their actors. I think they they bring very phenomenal performances to their characters um, and you just feel the almost like frustration and uh, tension that's just like within them. Um, Aegon, I, I don't know how he's going to handle this. And I have to say with Laris strong kind of, you know, sort of whispering in his ear, so to speak, I, we don't need that. Okay. Listen, I know some of you are team black and some of you are team green, but I'm team. They don't need to talk as much. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think any of us need that. All right, no, no matter what team you're on. <laughs> but it seems like, uh, you know, Laris might be trying to push 
auto out of being in hand and I, I think he's seizing his opportunity there. Um, I think that might be his best shot. That might be not exactly his intention, but I'm, that's the vibes I'm getting. You know what I mean? All right, and then over on Team Black, I, whew, I, I actually liked, and I know that that sounds um, odd, but just the, the, the conversation between uh, Damon and um, Rainey's and uh, just the fact that right now they're both dealing with the fact that they have a queen that is grieving, that is going through a lot, and they kind of both are trying to hold down everything um, though I will say Damon is, is, is trying to be a lot more proactive and, um, it, you know, that, that's in his, his nature and personality. But I, I think it's, it, it was really, really interesting to just see that conversation between the two to just sort of establish what's going on, how, you know, um, Renera is handling it. I liked, uh, kind of, uh, the, the comment about, you know, needing to see whatever remains there are in order to start to grieve, because it, it, it is a very interesting thing with death that you can hear something and almost not really believe it um, until there's your, you know, I feel like partially why funerals can, can be a thing for people is that you get that closure there, maybe. Um, and, uh, and, and, and stuff like that. So I actually really liked that we took the time in this episode to focus on Renera's grief. And it didn't just fling straight into, okay, this is the retaliation that we're going to do. Obviously that's coming. We all know that's coming. But I like that they took the moment to, to showcase that she is grieving as a mother. And I, I, I would assume she's, she's shocked and enraged and heartbroken. And I liked including the scene where she, she goes to find um, whatever is left of his remains. And, and oh, in that scene with her and Jace, holy moly, I... Oh, I just felt it kind of bubbling up and I thought I was going to, you know, be okay. But, oh, they made me so emotional. Beautiful performances on uh, both of them. Phenomenal. And, you know, just to the, the emotion of the funeral scene as well. I thought it was really powerful. And and I, I liked that this episode took the time to show respect to the character, but just respect to the grief that people are going through and not just, okay, let's get, get into it, which they got into it and we'll get to that, but you know what I mean? Um, oh my goodness. Um, listen, when she said, I want Eamon, like I said in the reaction, Damon's like, okay. <laughs> You know, he, he was waiting for some command. Put that hood on. He's ready to go. And that does not shock me at all. Okay. Um, I do have a feeling at some point there's going to be some sort of showdown between the two. I feel like it's building up to that. But, you know, I don't really know. So we'll see. Uh, but uh, I, oh, as soon as it, it, there was a lot of rat talk towards the end of the episode with the traps and everything like that. And I was just like, no, 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 no. If you watched my season one reactions and I get it, they were a, a while ago. So. <laughs> but 
throughout season one, obviously, a lot of people in my comment section were, you know, talking about Team Black and Team Green and all of that kind of started a brewing, you know what I mean? And what did I always say? Well, I always said I, I find uh, watching both sides pretty fascinating. So, as you can see, I'm rocking both colors today. But what did I always say? If I'm on any team, it's Team Bug Princess. And I'd, I'm technically Bug Queen now. I, I get it. But at the time, the, the, the affectionate term that I had for her was Bug Princess. And oh my goodness, like of all the people, of all the people you got the like, that had to have the horrific act happen to them, it's got to be her and her kids, her, her son. Of course, of course. Oh, and uh, like my heart was racing because the, even before they showed her, I I was just like, oh fuck, just because of all of the talk of the rats and she mentioned rats before and I feel like it's not the first time that she's been kind of, you know, tuned in to some stuff and she says stuff in a very cryptic manner and so nobody takes her seriously, but I feel like she know, like she get, I don't know exactly how it works, but she knows some shit, okay? And you guys know, I just, I really gravitated towards her in the first season because there was all these characters doing all sorts of fuckery to each other, okay? I feel like we can say that. And she just wanted to, to, to hang out with her bugs. I saw, like, oh, I cannot even believe that. I, I was shocked. And the noise of the, oh. And I mean, it, it, it it, now it's going to get even messier, you think about it. Because like, if they were able, these guys, if they were able to come in and kill Amond, which I maintain that that would have been harder than maybe they thought, but um, anyway. Um, it, it sort of, in some, you know, it, it makes sense that that was the target, seeing as you know, he was kind of the culprit of what happened at the end of season one. But now there's this, and so now it's just gonna get messy, messy and messy, and two enraged sides. Just, I mean, we're about to watch a very big train wreck with dragons. And I don't think anybody's gonna make it out okay, but. Oh my goodness. I, I really was quite, I, I think, just like taken aback and shocked at that ending, really. Um, and I, you know, should have known. Um, but, wow. I think a phenomenal premiere, as heavy as it was, I, I think they executed it very, very well. And um, going forward in these reactions, <laughs> let me just say this. I will be wearing some green outfits and some black outfits throughout the season. The outfits are already determined, okay? I think next week I'm wearing green, the week after I'll be wearing black, and so on and so forth, okay? I have always stated that I kind of just I'm, I'm watching and enjoying and being horrified all in one. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I know that the fandom is very intense with the Team Black versus Team Green. And I know there will be at least some time during the season where I'm going to be wearing a specific color and somebody's going to be very, very angry at me in the comment section. Just, you know, let, you know, just so you guys know. They're predetermined. <laughs> and guys, listen, I already know that I am going to be rocking the wrong color when like some of the most horrendous acts are going to be taking place. I mean, we're looking on screen and looking down at my outfit and being like, oh boy. <laughs> All right. Just wanted to say that. Because <laughs> with this fandom, you know they're going to get, somebody's going to get mad about, you know, what colors I'm wearing. It's predetermined. The outfits are already planned. It is what it is.
Alrighty. Um, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I, re I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!